you know, to start now with the uh, the new series is concluding. So what is the experience of working together, the two of you and Rob and Maurice? What's it been like all these years later to, to get to do it all again? Therese? Well, you know, we've uh, all been friends now for what, 25, 30 years. Yeah. Rob, uh, uh, I've known uh, uh, a little bit longer. Uh, I've known you for at least 30, haven't I, Jess? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. yeah. So um, we've grown up together. Yeah. Um, and we're very close. And even when we weren't working on uh, yep. Animaniacs, we might be working on uh, something else together. Um, and uh, so uh, we're never uh, apart for very long. Yeah. And we communicate and, uh, you know, text and that sort of thing. So uh, being, uh, not being in the studio together, uh, like during the pandemic and stuff, uh, made things a little difficult and kind of kind of harshed our mellows a little bit because yeah. we have so much fun yeah. in the in the studio and it's something that we thrive on you know it's mm -hmm. it, 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 it you really you really miss we're addicted to our friendship really you know if you think about it like this Spencer if you think about somebody that you got you know was your pal in high school or a couple of your best pals right and you get back together years later and it's like you haven't missed a beat well we got to do that in double because we love each other and we love our characters. So when we were back in the room doing that, it was like six times the fun, because even though there were three or four of us, eight times the fun, we got to reunite not only as ourselves under that umbrella, but with the characters too. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing and we love it. And we've been able to travel together too. Yeah, so, true. you know, we go we go out on the road. And um, so um, there's some wacky, wacky hijinks uh, going oh, yeah. on out oh, yeah. there. So, uh, <laughs> so, you know, they, we don't leave each other alone. It's good all the way around, know. brother. It's good yeah, all the it's way all around. Good. Oh, yeah. that's awesome to hear. And and Jess, you know, um, the Wacko's voice was inspired by the Beatles. You know, to a couple generations now think of it as just Wacko's voice, like first Funny. and foremost. What does that mean to you, that kind of association? Isn't that well, fun? Boy, that's a great question. You know, we're getting some questions we've never gotten today, Spencer. That's I know. Great you know what? It makes me proud. And I'll tell you why, because that thing doing that voice was an homage to the Beatles who were a huge and are a huge part of my life and tresses for that matter. And yeah. that, when I, when I got the gig doing that voice, I couldn't have been happier because it was like me tipping my hat. And now if people's first thing, when they hear, you know, somebody with a Liverpoolian accent is to think it sounds like wacko, but it makes them dig a little bit deeper and go, Oh, that was based on the Beatles. And maybe they dig into that. Well, then it's a win-win, isn't it? You know? Yeah, for sure. And my yeah. last question is, you know, uh, since this is the last season, uh, what do each of you hope to be parodying in the next reboot in 2040? <laughs> well, if we, if we, listen, man, if we don't get to the Kardashians eventually, we're missing the boat. That's how I <laughs> that's what that's do. <laughs> Anything for you, Tress? Well, I think we're going to be like the movie Cocoon. We're going to be old, yeah. old, old. But <laughs> once we get into the uh, the water tower, then we'll return to our youth and things are just the way they always were. Yeah, and in, and in 40 years, we'll all have Skyatica and our new character, Oh, my ache and Bacco. It'll be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, that's all the time I have. Thank you both so much. It's been a lot of fun. Really Thanks. nice talking to you, Spencer. Take all care. Best, Thank you, Thanks. man.